All right, guys. All right, so I'm gonna fire the kiln or the or retard up. And what I did is I've already uh, installed some of our fuel. And basically all that is is just cut and split uh, wood. You know, and, and something I want to note, all this fuel processing, including um, cutting the, the tree up, was all done on energy created by the CFX. So this is an electric uh, wood splitter, which these things are not toys. Um, I always thought they were kind of cheap looking, toyish looking, but this thing's uh, quite a quite a workhorse actually, and it works quite well um, running off the gas fire and the Predator 9500. And then <clears throat> for processing this tree, this tree was uh, um, if we had a windstorm um, over at my mom's place and uh, it knocked a, this tree over. It was a big, huge oak. Um, this is probably uh, the sixth load that I've hauled out of there of this tree with an S10, a two-wheel drive S10 pickup. So other than the fuel that I put in the gasoline I used in the S10 to pick this tree up, that's the, the only energy that I used, you know, out from the grid to uh, get this tree, right? So um, this was cut up with my Greens, Greenworks 80-volt uh, saw, and I got two batteries for that, and then um, cut and split with... Uh, energy produced off the CFX all right so but anyway um that is what's in here and then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna top that off so what I did here is I use a, a cutoff saw to cut these links in half so I'm actually gonna I'm gonna set you guys down so Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, top that off. I'm gonna save these chunks for the next batch. And uh, I'm gonna be running some uh, lumber scraps from, from our palletizing. I wanna center this.
So that should be enough to get it going. I'm gonna make sure my valves are up all the way open. So we'll let that get going and uh, we'll come back and uh, we'll see how she does. Oh, uh, something I wanted to mention. Um, when you put the fuel in your retort, you want to try to keep the bark out of it. Burn the bark, but put your non-bark <laughs> um, cut split wood in the, in the retort. So a piece like that, like this here. You put in a retort and then, you know, all your junk wood, um, you know, the, the bark, you want to burn that. Um, and that equals out pretty good. Another thing, too, is, uh, you know, you don't have to burn, you know, this wood to make the charcoal. You can, you know, if you got a source for, for pallets, you could use pallets. The only thing is... is uh, if you want to harvest the charcoal out of the burn box, um, then you don't want any nails. So, unless you don't plan on doing that, then you can uh, burn the nails. But that's the 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 pro and the con is um, if you have nails in there, you don't want to harvest that charcoal. You want you don't want nails in your your charcoal, especially for well for biochar or uh, um, gasification. So, but yeah, I mean, there's no reason, Sagey, no reason you have to burn your, your good wood, but so far, you know, it's not smoking, making a whole bunch of smoke and, and that's really the deal breaker. If I, if it makes a lot of smoke, then I probably will, um, adapt the lid, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I want to try it this way first and see how it does. And I would expect this thing to, this thing's probably going to smoke this first time. It's going to burn all that paint off. And something else you may want to do is uh, wrap from this uh, um, ring here all the way to the top. You could wrap this in a, with a, a fiberglass. Or insulation, um, and that will that should help uh, um, make it more efficient. But, yep, she's uh, going along pretty good. All right, guys, so I'm gonna just let her go, and then uh, we'll come back later and and check on it. All right, guys, so this has been going roughly not quite two hours i started on this about four o'clock and it's just rolling up in six o'clock so um i'm doing a little experiment here trying to dry out some of the the wood for the next batch so but anyways uh it's time to add more fuel so i'm gonna set you guys down and get some Fuel ready to go in the firebox.
So I think uh, the convertible um, with the top off is the way to do this. It's really not smoking a whole lot. I think the majority of the smoke was coming from uh, the paint burning off. Once this really got going, I got cooked off there. I'll take this stuff off. Try to back up. But, I mean, there's fresh wood in there now, so it's going to smoke a little bit. But once that really gets going, it hardly smokes at all. So, that's good enough for me. Um, if anything, I think uh, putting a chimney on it will actually make it smoke a little more. But, anyways, uh, yeah, again, uh, if you notice, I'm running the bark and the, the burn box and then all my wood from the cores. I'm trying to save that for the, the retort to put into the retort. Um... Oh, and, uh, yeah, really, it should be about a one-to-one -one ratio. So, for what you got in the retort, that's probably what you're going to burn to convert, convert it to charcoal. Um, it can be a little better than that, because once it goes into a hyper mode, then it kind of switches. And what you do is you load the, the burn box up, and then you shut your valves off, right? And now, the... The second stage air is going to ignite the gases coming out of the retort and that's going to cook the fuel in the in the burn box so once once this is all done once the processes are done then you basically shovel out what you got in the burn box plus um what you have in the retort so you, what you're going to end up with is a full um 20 gallons of, of charcoal because what you do put in there, it does reduce down quite a bit. So, but when you uh, harvest what you have in the burn burn box, that makes up for for what you uh, reduce that down to. So, anyways, I'm gonna let this go until it goes into hyper mode, and then uh, we'll come back. Maybe it'll be dark out so we can see the flames. So uh, we'll come back when when that happens. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, so it is moving into hyper mode. So if I can uh, get my glove on one-handed, I'll take a peek in there. And what we should see is uh, the gas is igniting coming out of the... So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some more fuel in here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to throttle my valves back. Okay. So I come back about... 
And as you can see, we got flames shooting off the top. You can see the gases uh, escaping around the the lid here too, and igniting. All right, so um, basically, I'm just gonna let this go until it's uh, done, and uh, I'll keep adding fuel to charcoalize in the uh, the burn chamber. Then we'll harvest that too. And if you know, I got another drum here. So what I've been doing is stacking wood on top of there and kind of pre-drying it. And then putting it in this barrel. And then I got it hugged to this, to the, the retort. And basically that's uh, heating that drum. And we're kind of, it's like a, this is basically a, a kiln. So it's kiln, kiln drying the fuel for the next batch. So I'll, I'll probably be picking up some more of these drums. I get them for about 20 bucks a, a piece with the lid. So I'll probably pick up a bunch more and then, uh, you know, put one on the other side and then uh, uh, pre-dry my fuel. And then, uh, you know, something else I'll be doing later is I want to uh, put a water coil on this and use this for hot water production so but anyways uh you know if you think this is a slow process let's see it's i started about 4 7 30 now so i think this will probably be done in an hour so about about four and a half hours but you know doing wood chips it's not faster, it's actually slower because you're gonna have to wait a couple days for those chips to, to dry. You can't put wet, wet chips, wet wood in a gasifier and expect it to work. It just doesn't work. This is tons faster. Yeah, when this is done, I'm gonna have two hopper loads um, for my CFX here. All right, so we'll come back um, when this is done. Alright guys, so let's take a look inside and see what we got. So, in this drum here is uh, where I keep the charcoal after it's made. And that's what I harvest out of the, out of the firebox last night. Now, take a look inside of here. combination of what I took out of there and what's in here that's a full 20 gallons or should be or hopefully close to it anyways so and this stuff so it's fully converted It's uh, engine grade charcoal right there. Alright, so I'm going to conclude this video and get to making another batch. Thanks for watching.